We're actually standing in my favourite part of the building. This is the new arcade gallery. I like this space because it's an original space and it's been hidden from us for so long, for two generations, I suppose. And it's a very beautiful space for the paintings to hang in and a lovely space for visitors to walk around in. Architectural detail, there's so many in this wonderful building, but if I had to choose one, I would be totally immodest and I would choose one of the carvings on the capitals up the staircase, which was sculpted by a friend, Richard Groom, who included me in a crash helmet on my motorbike. My favourite part of the Poetry Gallery is here in the ambulatory in the main hall, um, mainly due to the Gothic architecture and the detail. I actually work shifts here, so I'm here at night time as well, so I get to walk through here whilst it's uh, quiet and get to look at this uh, in quite some detail. Once you come through the main doors, and you make your way into the Great Hall, the first thing you notice is that everybody just automatically looks up to the ceiling and looks right around them and they take the whole ambience of the Great Hall in. My favourite architectural feature really is the brick. It's unusual for a building in Edinburgh to have so much red brick. There's lots of red stone and large carved features. It's very warm, it just has this lovely sort of industrial feel which goes with the iron girders and it makes the place almost look in some ways like a New York loft. My favourite architectural feature of the building has to be William Hall's processional frieze, having had the opportunity to clean parts of it and to examine it at close quarters. And the frieze in particular, I think, contributes monumentally to the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. I think probably my favourite architectural feature of the Portrait Gallery are the figures on the facade of the building. And it always seems amazing to me that when the building opened, they weren't there at all. And it took a further about eight years for them to be sculpted and put in place. And I think they're just a fantastic way to remember Scottish history and it's embodied in the building. When the building was put up, the collection was tiny, so we only actually occupied half. So this recent renovation has enabled us to take over the whole of the building, really make sense of the architectural features. It really is a great Victorian masterpiece, and it's fantastic that at long last it's being used for the purpose that it was originally designed.